morning and I'm very sorry I did not film much. It was like super busy and yeah, we just got super busy and so I didn't film. I'm here with Operator Drewski, so. my brother, and we are going to do something that I haven't told Meredith about. Let me just, let me just tell you what's going on. So Meredith's car needed to be in the shop a little bit and I thought it was gonna be a little bit. I took it to the shop and dropped it off and they, they told me it was wrong, said it was gonna take like 10 days to fix. They were gonna need her car for like 10 days, which means we'd only have one vehicle for 10 days, which is hard because I go to work all day long. I also take our kindergartner to school. Mayor takes the others to school, plus Mayor needs a car to get around and do everything. It's like, it would be very hard for us to only have one car for a week, so I looked into getting a rental car for 10 days. So I looked into getting a rental car. Rental cars for 10 days, big enough to fit a whole family in, are not cheap. So I thought that maybe I could just go buy a really cheap car that I could use and Mayor could have my truck. So I got on Craigslist last night and I found a car. Meredith is not gonna be excited about it. Um, she actually has been calling me all day saying, did you get a rental car yet? And I'm like, don't worry. I, I don't wanna lie to her because I don't feel right lying even though it'd be kind of a white lie. So I've just been avoiding it all day. I'm like, don't worry, I, I'll, I'll, I'll take care of it. And she's like, well, I need to know if I need to go pick up my car or not. And I'm like, don't, I got it, don't worry about it. And she's just like, she's kind of frustrated with me because she doesn't know what I'm doing. So I'm going to buy a car. Well, I'm gonna go look at a car. Ideally, I'll buy it if it looks like as good as it does on Craigslist. Um, and then I'll probably keep it for a little while and then I'll sell it and I won't have lost all the money that I would lose on a rental car, is my theory. Just stopped by the bank, got some cash. I think we're ready to do this deal. One thing we're gonna buy a car is make sure you leave a little wiggle room in the price so you can get it down. But one thing to not do, you're gonna have to go around and go that way, Drew, okay. so you can get back on the road. One thing to not do is, I thought about just bringing a trailer so that I could load it up and drive it home myself, but I was like, no, if I bring a trailer, he knows I'm ready to buy that car. So, Drew's driving me so that if uh, we want it, we can get it, but we have the option of backing out because I didn't go get a trailer and all that stuff. So, we're trying to keep the cards in our favor so that I can get a great deal on this car. You're gonna love it. You guys are, it's just, it's the nicest car I've ever seen. I'm a VW fanatic, man. Um, I've owned over 40 V-dubs in my life. Really? I, mean, I saw that thing sitting in the background of the pictures. I've yeah, never that owned... Yeah, actually on, on, on Craigslist as well, but yeah. I really don't want to sell it. Swap meets and, you know, go to a couple of VW swap meets, you'll certainly run into somebody who, uh, who's got, um, a backseat. Because mm -hmm. these things are a dime a dozen, man. These folks are like... Okay, somebody has removed all the wires from See it. That. And, like, done their own thing here with, you know, fuses here. Yep. They've put little... <laughs> So it's kind of like a homemade job, but dude, <laughs> somehow it works. Really, like, work. <laughs> right. Now, if Long I were to keep it, yeah. I would, all I would do is just remove those fuses, redo all that, and put the wires right back where they go. Yeah. And I have a buddy who would help me do it for probably less than fifty bucks. Yeah. So it's called a flat four. Two cylinders to the right and two cylinders to the left. Okay. Okay. Now, let me show you about shifting on a bug. Um, it's first, second, third, fourth, mm -hmm. and reverse is going to be into the floor ah, and into second. Okay. Yeah, I would have okay. never figured that out. Okay. So into the floor and into second. Weird. Okay. okay. Now. Again, if sold, before it leaves, I'll be more than happy to help the buyer. I have to unbolt these here and slightly move it around because sometimes when you go from first to second, you'll grind it into reverse okay. by accident and you don't want to do that. Okay. And it shouldn't be doing that, but it's only because this plate is slightly unaligned. It just literally needs to be moved forward or to the right a little bit okay. or, even, or even to the left. You cool. just got to figure it out. But again, it's all like adjustable stuff and nothing imperative, imperative to the performance of the vehicle. Yeah, sounds good. So we'll go that way, we'll go that way and then go up and down a little bit. And okay. Just, you know, and then at some point when we're up here, I'll say, all right, you take over. Okay. Are all, um, all again, the VW bugs standard? Do they make any yes, automatics? Yes, they made some that were called semi-automatics, like in the 70s. We got it. We have a 1971 Volkswagen Baja Bug dragging behind Drew's truck right now. Meredith is not going to be happy about this. I love you. I'm sorry, Meredith. Just get back to the clinic now. I'm a little late. I have a lot of work to do this afternoon. Five o'clock, done at the vet clinic. I showed you guys nothing again, and I'm sorry for that. It's just that we were really busy today, and when we're busy, there's like no time to pull a camera out. Pulling a camera out makes everything take so much longer. But we're busy, which is good. I don't know if you guys follow, but I bought the vet clinic not too long ago, and uh, pretty worried about making it all work financially, and it's working financially. I, had, I made enough money to pay all my employees. 
we had the first paycheck last week. So that was nice that, uh, you know, everyone worked and got paid. I have to go pick up the bug now. Drewski, my brother, had it on the back of his car and went ahead and just took it to his house. So I'm gonna go over to his house, pick it up, load it up, take it to Meredith. Hopefully I'll be alive to upload this video. It looks pretty dang cool, right? I mean, look at this. I'm excited. What video? Hi. Uh, the video on your workshop. You're watching, oh, you're watching my YouTube videos? Hey, Lincoln, looking good, buddy. Hey, mommy. Hey. Hi. Hi. I just want you to know that I love you. <laughs> you just got a butt in the face. <laughs> Hi, Annie, are you feeling okay? I heard you were sick today. Can I have a hug? Um, I, I love you. And you're so beautiful. What did you do? I did nothing. Put some pants on, Lincoln. There's 700,000 people looking at you. First of all, Mayor, before we go out there, did I tell you I love you yet? <laughs> Do you love it? Do you love it? It's my new car. A race car? Yeah, it's a race car. Wait, wait, Mayor, where are you going? You don't even want to see it? <laughs> wait. What's in it? Hey, Mayor. What? Would you say right now, would you say that you love me? <laughs> she didn't say she doesn't love me. What do you think? You like it? It's all torn up inside of it. Yeah, it's kind of old. It's hard to open that door. You ready? Oh man, it's really hard to open. There we go. What do you think? getting dark, but it's not dark yet. Lincoln doesn't like it because it's straight piped, meaning it has no mufflers, so it's very loud. So he wants to wear some earmuffs to make sure it's not too loud, which I think is a great idea. Lincoln, you hear me? But it's, go it's going down. Yeah, you're gonna have to hold them, okay? Okay. Do you like that? Yeah. You think that's gonna work to keep it not too loud? Yeah. Yeah, what do you girls think? Good. Ready? Good. Yeah, yeah. See, it's not too loud. It kind of sounds like a tractor. Yeah. All right. So how do you turn the headlights on? That's, the, that's what I need to know here. I don't know what any of these buttons do. Where are the headlight buttons? Don't do something crazy. Don't do something crazy? Oh, that's windshield wipers. <laughs> Got those to work. <laughs> They're really well, why slow. Do, why huh. do you make noise? That must be a radio or something. I don't know what that is. We're backing up. We're backing up. <laughs> this, is this is cool, right? Yeah. yeah. Is it too loud? No. It's kind of quiet. Yeah. It's a little bumpy old ride, isn't it? Yeah. We're here. Oh, look at all those deer. <laughs> you see all those deer out there? Y'all probably can't see, there's a ton of deer up here. Look, they're not even moving. Good. Pretty good? Yeah. We're gonna go back. Yep, we're heading back right now. But I say, I say there's a race car. You say what? I say there's a race car. You say this a race car? Yeah. Thank you for doing it. Thanks for doing it for us. You're welcome. Thanks for doing it with us. You're welcome. Was that awesome? Yeah. yeah it's the best day. Good. I see your eyes. 
You see the eyes? Yeah. You think that bug looks like eyes? Yeah. Yeah, it kind of does look like it has eyes on the front of it. What'd you think, Annie? That was fun. Loved it? Yeah. Kids are all in bed. Now I get to finally come spend some time and get to know this thing. There's a lot of things I don't know how to do. I know nothing about Volkswagens. I know they're air-cooled engines. I know that this is what they call a Baja bug. So what makes it Baja is it's raised up a little bit, has some bigger tires, has some bigger fenders, and then also the back is all open like this. These things, people actually race these Baja bugs in the Baja 1000, which is a race I did a couple months ago. I'll put a link to that video right here. But I actually saw people racing Baja bugs. I have no idea how this thing could ever make it through a thousand miles in the desert. But they do, and that's why they're Baja bugs. So I have a Baja bug. I need to figure out a lot of little things. There's, look at this, let me show you one thing that I have no idea what this is. In here, it's kind of dark in here. There's some weird, like this is a parking brake here. That makes sense. I don't know what the heck this thing is, or, or these things. I don't know what they do. So I'm about to spend a lot of time on the internet looking up things about 1971 Volkswagen Beetles and see if I can figure out what that thing is. Also, there's no seat back there. There's a big blanket, which is probably covering up a lot of nasty stuff. There's our battery sitting in a floorboard. There's a little surface rust down there, but this thing's actually pretty rust free. And what's weird to think about is this car 1971, it's 46 years old. It's pretty good for 46 years old. I just spent some time working with this thing, figuring out everything I needed to figure out tonight. And uh, it wasn't too bad. Headlights are here, see? They're not very bright at all. Um, these things down here are for seatbelts. Not that one, it has an extra seatbelt here. But these weird seatbelts plug in just like that. Uh, I don't know how to get myself out of here though. Oh, it's got little levers. Huh, it's pretty cool, right? Um, what else was I trying to figure out? Oh, these levers here, these are for the heater vents. So this is a pretty interesting thing on Volkswagens. And I knew they were air-cooled engines, but I never thought about how the heater works. So on a normal liquid-cooled car, the heater or the engine pumps water through a small radiator-like thing called a heater core, which blows air through that, heats the car. So this has no water, so what it does is normally, this isn't hooked up now, but normally air flows out of here through this pipe, comes out and goes into this, which runs right along the outside of an exhaust header there, and then pumps back into the car to some little, let's see, you can see it right there. It comes out of there and there's one on the other side, those little knobs in between the seats control that airflow. It's pretty cool. My speedometer doesn't work. My gas cage doesn't work. There's no engine in the front. It's in the back. There's a gas tank up here. Um, a bird's nest. You know, things you need. Ugh. So the Baja kit has a bunch of fiberglass stuff on it. So it's a little lighter. It just looks meaner. Obviously it has this big Exhaust pipe, I can take the uh, little muffler element out of that. So now it's straight piped. And it's honestly pretty loud. I'm gonna leave that thing in for now because I need to get this thing to the courthouse to get license plates on it. And I'm gonna have to drive this to do it because Mary's gonna be using my truck. So I don't really wanna get pulled over so I'm gonna try to hide even though it's bright green and ridiculous looking. I hope I can make it to the courthouse tomorrow without getting pulled over and getting a citation. Time will tell. I want to show you one thing that I got from SHOT Show. I got a bunch of stuff from SHOT Show. But one thing that really stood out was this. These are brass knuckles. But they have a little spinner in the middle. Put it down so you can see. So it's made for people who get bored easily and just sit there and click their pin. It's just something to, for you to play with when you have nothing else to do. And I saw this and I was like, the guy showed it to me. And I was like, dude, give me that. And he was like, what? Like it was this last one. And I was like, please give me that, I want it. And I begged him for it. And so, because I felt bad for asking him, I wanted to shout him out. He didn't pay me anything to say this. Um, ColumbiaRiverPrecision.com. Go check him out, um, because I feel a little guilty about taking the guy's last one. 
And uh, like I said, not a sponsored thing. I just feel guilty, but I think it's cool. I do weird stuff like this. I honestly usually just spin my rings when I get bored. I just sit there and do this all day long. So now I won't lose my ring and I have some brass knuckles. And should stuff go down, man, I'm ready. Hey. Hey. Thoughts? It's cold out here. Mm -hmm. It is cold. You should have worn a jacket. Yeah. It was hot this afternoon. You smell good. Thoughts? I'm not driving, <laughs> so I don't care. You don't love it? Hey, you Meredith actually can drive a stick. You should try. You should try to drive this. How long has it been since you've driven a stick? Like ten years. Yeah, I was gonna say it. Probably did. She she learned to drive a vehicle with a standard Honda Civic. She was actually better at driving a stick than I was. I think I knew how to drive a stick, but she did it every day. So she was really good at it back in the day. Old sixteen-year-old Meredith shifting gears. <laughs> Do you want to drive it right now? Um. I mean, kind of, just to see if I can okay. still drive a stick. All right. You want you want me to go with you? Or Wait, you is this, wanna... like, the trunk? Yeah, this is the trunk. But there's not much room because the gas tank's in there. Gas. Yeah. <laughs> it's not a very functional trunk. There's not a power brake, so you have to push that brake pedal way far down. Okay, so clutch in. Parking brake's off. You're in neutral. Starts right up. Purrs like a kitten, huh? Let that clutch out. All those headlights are pointed really far up. Those lights are pointed way too high. They're like shining at the tree line up there. Yeah, shining the top of the trees with one light and the ground in front of us with the other lights. Whoa. Oh, you almost stalled. Gone. It's like the Baja 1000 over here, huh? Oh gosh! Let, let the clutch out. There you go. Oh, you stalled it. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this isn't as um. It's not as forgiving as, as my little Civic. No, nope, not as forgiving as the Civic. This is hard. You're on an incline now too. Speed and just roll it up over that. It'll it'll bang pretty hard, but it'll get in there. All right, hit the brakes. Don't hit the door. Oh god, you scared me. Okay, kill it. Whew. Well, still got it. Sort of. So if need be, in like a zombie apocalypse situation, oh, we left the headlights on. You could drive this thing, huh? I could see you driving this in a apocalyptic situation. Uh, there's a knob on the dash that you need to push in. It's like the top right knob. Got it. Ugh. One last thing. I think that this car needs a name. It's a 1971 Volkswagen Beetle with a Baja kit. And it's lime green. I feel like it needs a name. I don't like girl names for cars. I feel like all my cars, I feel like they're my, my bro. You know, like they're my best friend. So I need a boy name for this car. What do you think? What fits it? It's a tough little bitty car. Comment below. Let me know. I'm looking for a name. Thanks for watching Demolition Ranch. This is not Demolition Ranch. Thanks for watching Off the Ranch, and I will see you next time. We're not talking about killing people. Just say I want to murder you. Oh. <laughs>